What time is it? It's journey time with Stampin' Up! Come join me on another creative journey as we create a watercolor pineapple technique using the Timeless Tropical Clean Stamp Set and the In the Tropic dies um, that the, they're the matching dies. And here is the stamp set. It's absolutely adorable. And I had a lot of fun using it already, using these stamps, but this is unique in that we will be using this pineapple punch and not only, or pineapple dies. And not only will we be using them to cut things out, we'll also be using them to create a foam stamp since there is not a giant pineapple in the set. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to watercolor our pineapple. And just remember in the world of card making, um, you have free reign on whatever colors you want to use. If you wanted this to be a pinks and reds pineapple, you could. If you wanted a lilac or a purple pineapple, you could. So I used pretty tra traditional colors in this one, but always remember when you're creating that it's your world. We're just in it, okay? We're also gonna be using the Fluid 100 watercolor paper that Stampin' Up! has. And we're also going to be using water painters. I don't have the new ones. The new ones are supposed to be even better. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! craft mat as my base. But if you don't have that, you can also use a window sheet, acetate. This is the, um, the paper that comes in um, packaging that's glossy. You know, anything that repels water, even foil, a craft mat, whatever you have. Um, because you want to do watercolor things on something that repels the water because you don't want to waste all your water and ink and have it just soak into paper. So if you had one of those grid papers here or something, it would just soak in and waste a lot of it. So we're going to start by showing you a couple of different ways to make your pineapple. Now you could do it with stamp pads. And let me show you how to do that. Here's a Cajun, cra Cajun craze. And you can either go direct to the stamp or if you prefer, just squeeze it, squish, squish, squish pop it up and you get a little bit of ink there but it's more than you think it is and um, you can pick it up this way. Now you're going to want to take the spritzer from Stampin' Up! and spray 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 on this technique and you could pick up some ink and put some on there or you can go direct and get more color. So that's one way that you could color this using whatever colors that you prefer for your pineapple base. Okay, so let's put this away. We're going to use that later to shade, so I'll leave it open. Another way, and the way that I want to do it, is using reinkers. So I'm just going to put like a drop in. If I was making several cards, I could put more. But I'm going to start with that was. Tangerine Tango, that might be a retired color, and a, a yellow. This is Crushed Curry. And then I like the Cajun Craze. We already have it on there. And just put a drop. Okay. But you're also going to want, for the top, we're going to use some blues and greens. So I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. So I'm using three different colors. This is wild wasabi, but that is still my all-time favorite, and I stocked up when it went out of sale, on sale. So, it's not coming out very much. It's probably pretty old, and there we go. So just some different refills. And then the trick is to keep your watercolor paper wet, okay? So don't be afraid to keep spraying over and over. Okay, so now I'm going to take my watercolor painter, I'm going to water it up, 
and just dip the tip in that. This is the Cajun Crage. And I just barely want to touch that. See how that takes off? Put a little bit in the middle. Now, if it was too dark and I wanted to lighten it up, I'd simply take my sprayer, spray it off more. Or you can take a towel, a lint-free towel, and wipe it off and stop it. So we're going to spray it back up because we're not done. And I'm going to go wipe off my painter. As you can see, I'm just wiping it off until the color is gone. And then it's ready for the next color. And it's probably better to start from light to dark, but I don't usually go by rules. That's my problem. So I'm going to, I just sprayed it up. I'm going to hit some yellow right here and just touch it. You see how it starts spreading? And if it's not wet enough, I'll just add more water so it spreads a little more. Now I'm going to go for my orange. And get that going. Just love how the fluid paper just lets you play and and then you can choose if you want all your little pieces out of your pineapple or none. You know, this one has, you know, all of the men. I could do this definitely like that. I don't guarantee that they'd stay in there, but I could do it that way. And now I'm just going to put a little more color on one side here. I'm going to put that out to dry. And then I'm going to show you. So let me put this aside to dry. You could dry it with a heat gun if you wanted to and then come back in here wipe off my craft sheet and you could just use a any kind of towel but I just think lint free is better so you don't get lint pieces on this there we're ready to go for the top and the top I'm going to show you even another color technique so we've already seen the from the stamp pad from the re-inkers but let's just say that you didn't have either one of those. Well, with water, your our blends will not work because they're alcohol-based. So they're not gonna spread, they're not gonna. But our other markers, the Marvelous markers, in which I have some that are probably 10, 15 years old, and still, most of them still working, I'm gonna take and spray this again. And I'm gonna add some colors. This, like I said, these are old, but if you have the new, I just haven't bought the up-to-date ones because I switched to blends. Look at that, how that runs. So, and if I wanted more water on this side, just spread it up. There we go. Then if I want to come back with some green, Spray a little more water on there. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw in that blue, really went off because that's a darker color. But here, here's a darker green. Let's see if it works. This is really old. Is that? No. So yeah, that comes out with a little bit more color. Now let's try throwing some yellow in there. Just kind of, you know, push down until you get some color coming out of them. So that's different. You know, you could add more green if you wanted green. Um, and then just put that aside to dry. So I might wipe this one off so it stays. There we go. And there you are. Isn't that beautiful? Like I said, you could use whatever colors you wanted to. And um, I'm going to go back in on this one because I wanted to stick with the more traditional. So I want to put more green in here. So I'm going to go back and redo it with the re-inkers. I just wanted to show you another way you could do it if you don't have the re all the re-inkers you need. So I'm going to go in with a, a water brush, water painter. I'm going to pick up some green. 
sure to clean yours off before you do this. So here's what color this is. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to add more blue because I really do like the blue. And if it's too dark, we'll just spray it in just a minute. I personally like it, but what do you guys think? I think I'm going to leave it like that. So I will top it off. And I like that. Let's go back up here. It's a little bit more in there. Then, also, what you want to do is you want to kind of pop this out a little bit, these pieces, so it looks dimensional. And then, <clears throat> with a drier brush, you know, try, try not to use too much or a sponge. You could go back in and. Get some of the edges. Just kind of highlight the edges a little bit. Okay, so what do you think? I think it's adorable. Okay, so I'm going to take this mat away and then we'll get busy working on the rest. So we have our bottom. I left a few in, or you can pop them all out, and then I have the top. As you can see, this one's a little bit more brighter. It may lighten up a little bit when it dries, but it just every time you could do it, it's going to be something different. Here's a couple that I was playing with. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's just gorgeous. So I'm really excited about these. So I'm going to put these off to the side and let them dry while we create the rest of the card. So we have our card base, and on this one I'm using the Calypso Coral, just eight and a half by five and a half. And then I have my pop-up piece, and I've already, um, we just used this on another project too, used the Scripty 3D embossing folder, but I'm going to sponge it just a little bit around the edges to make some of those words pop out but at first I was going for the all white but I think it still just needed a little bit of something so give it a little more definition and depth by sponging the edges okay so how are we doing am I staying in focus I hope all right put that onto here so I'm using my snail Put a little extra because it's embossed, so it has ridges, so a little bit of extra tape is really helpful. Okay, line that up, turn it over, and I'm going to put some pop um, dimensionals on it. Go. And I like to put one in the middle just to keep it firm. Yes, if you don't get ink all over your hands, you are not being creative. So now we're going to make sure it's right side up. And line that up. There we go. So then we can put the base aside. Well, we're going to do the inside right now. And that is this. But I want to show you how I got this, okay? Because this stamp is not in that set. This is the top of the pineapple. So let me show you how I got that. Okay. Using the two dies that I absolutely love, they're like a special surprise. I used foam and I cut out these two foam pineapple in the top. And then I'm going to leave some on there. I don't know, I haven't decided, I've never tried it to stamp it to see if it gives definition, leaving some of those in there or not. But in order to make this into a stamp, so any die cut you have, 
you can make into a stamp by yeah, cutting it out on foam. And the way we're going to adhere that foam to a stamping up block, acrylic block, is by using the technique, which I have a video for, and using the leftovers from our decal pages. So all you're going to do is cut off a piece. Okay. Now, you can see here that this is a shiny side up. This is the side that's had the slices that you would peel off and the decal would be there. Okay, and that's this si shiny side. Then there's a duller side on the back. So you want shiny side up. Take your scissors or some kind of sharp tool and make a slit. And then peel it off. This one, this one did not cut through as far as I should have gone. These are not my best scissors, but it's still working. Then you're gonna take this and put it on the back of your foam. Then you're gonna take that cover off and you're gonna stick that on here. Touch it a few times, just like you do with your stamps so that it's not too sticky. And there you have your sticker, your, your foam stamp. All right, and then I would do the same thing with this one and I would have the pineapple bottom. So I could do big cards or scrapbook pages with pineapples across the bottom um, if I wanted to. But today, I'm going, I did it using the Stamparatus. So let me pull my Stamparatus out for this project. Okay, and I wanted you to see how you can, how wonderful the Stamparatus is. So first I'm gonna cut out, pull out a new piece and you can get these extra pieces in the catalog, two-sided. So um, they're perfect to save your glass here on the bottom. Put that there. Then I'm gonna take the piece that I've already pre-cut for the inside, put it in the very corner, hold it with a magnet. And then I'm going to take Pretty Peacock And what I did was I laid the stamps where I want them. So you lay the um, sediment stamp here, face up, and then you shut this like that so it's down there, and you press, and then it sticks to here. So you can use it over and over again. So if you stamp it and it's missing like an edge or a letter, you don't have to throw it away. You just re-ink it and re-stamp it. So this is amazing. And what's even more amazing is I did the same thing with this top flap and the same thing, especially with the foam. Sometimes you do have to do it twice and push. But let's get to that when we get to the foam. Let's go ahead and ink up. I hope I'm in camera. I'm going to ink up and push. I hold for a couple of seconds so I can let the ink sink in. Not that I push harder. I just want to give it time for the ink to sit and see how I missed a spot. So now I don't have to throw this piece away. I simply go back in, re-ink it, and then I'm going to put a little bit of pressure right there. Not too much because you don't want to over push and get the edge. So I don't know why it doesn't want to go. I'm looking to see if something's there. There it goes. Okay, still keeping it like that. I'm now going to ink up my pineapple and I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green. Okay, so I'm using Granny Apple Green and push. And I'm gonna do it one more time. Now it does come with this foam that I could have put under it, which I probably should have, but I'm not gonna know how to rewind the video. But if you put this under it, it comes with it, you get a better um, platform. And I don't know why I don't have mine on there, but that's okay. This is gonna work because I could do it a million times if I want to. So, and there you go. One more time, take this out. And there you go. So I have my sentiment for inside the car.
card. Uh, speech therapist out there, please help. That and sentiment. I don't seem to know how to say sentiment. So here we go. We've got our card. Now we're going to put our sentiment inside it using snail. And Stampin' Up! has a new tape out. I'm still using up my snail, snail, but it's supposed to be even better than snail, so I'm excited to try it. Okay, so we got that going on there. Now we get our pieces and they're pretty much dry. And we're going to want to use our mini dimensionals for this, for the pineapple. So if I want those to stay there, then I better not do that. There we go. So try to look for places where, just, you know, three or four places where it may not show through. And if you have to, you can cut them. I just want to do one more right here. Okay, let's take the backing off. that on right about there. So that's looking good. Now I'm going to do the top one. And with this one I can use the big dimensionals. Maybe one up here. One down here. Should be enough. I just want to make sure these are popped up. Isn't that adorable? I love this watercolor effect. And then line it up there. Okay, there's my pineapple. What do you think? I think it's amazing. So the next thing I want to do is shut these before I lay my elbow in them. Please tell me I'm not the only Let's when it comes to crafting. I could never use stickles. Never have I been able to let them dry enough. Aren't these colors great together? I really like those colors. All right, so the last thing I want to do is, and I want to show you this too. Look what I discovered because I have grandchildren. These are foam blocks that I have for my grandkids. And I saw that and I thought, hmm, so there you go. Instant Tombow holders, glue holders. So I'm going to go ahead and put some dots of glue. Always go in odd numbers. I think I'll put one right here. So that's four. And let's do one more. What do you think? Right here? Put right here. We'll see. We'll see how that looks. Then I'm going to take, now I have the sequence. I think they're retired, the iridescent sequence from the last catalog. But we have different colored sequins all the time. We even have some that have um, sticky on the back. And then using my that take your pick tool, which I absolutely love. So this one I probably squeeze too much, but it's got the edge go in here, touch down. Look at that. Is that not easy? I have too much on that one. Whoops. Let me just show you how I do it. You simply turn it a little bit and I let go because see more comes out. Do you see it slowly coming out than you think is going to come out? But it lasts forever. So I think I'll do a yellow one right here. This one has littler ones, so I'll do a littler one. Still counts as one right here. And then let's do a blue one. I got glue on the edge of that, so pop it out a little bit. Okay, and then the last one for on the pineapple, I think a green one. It's green or yellow, I can't tell. There we go. So what do you think? I think it's an amazing card. See? Ink spots, because I am a messy crafter. There you go. I hope you enjoyed. 
If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see what Stampin' Up! has to offer and all the products that I used here today, simply go to journeytime at stampingup.net. One more time, journeytime.stampingup.net. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.